Hi, and welcome to Average Roll, where a group of Chilean gamers who like to play games and share it with you, our dear audience. Today we're starting a new campaign, but before that, we're going to introduce ourselves. And I'll start with me. My name is Helena, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm very excited today about starting this new campaign uh, with new characters and level one, and we're all about to have a wonderful adventure, I hope. So let's start our introductions with Alejandro. Hi, my name is Alejandro. Uh... My pronouns are uh, he, him, I think. And yeah. <laughs> game. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not Most sure. Of what, the time. Time. what are you excited Most about? Of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, how are you, Daniel? I'm great. I'm very happy to be getting to play more and in English, which I often don't. And this is finally branching out beyond typical charisma characters so something different <laughs> yeah that's cool how about you diego how are you I'm feeling good today? uh i'm good i'm good looking forward to playing with magic i i haven't had a full caster uh in any campaign so it's gonna be entertaining good that sounds amazing and how about you jose well fine uh, waiting to start this this uh, new adventure returning an old friend the, the the character is a uh, old from the grave from the grave from the, <laughs> of this group uh, pronouns yeah. he him and excited mm -hmm. to be here again and again and again yeah thank you and last but not least how about you patricia hi i'm i'm fine um also very glad to play this new character i've never play played this class before and uh, my pronouns are she, her. Um, very excited to play this character. Good. Hell this yeah. Adventure. You can tell yeah. we're all excited to start here today. So first things first, we're going to uh, give some thanks. Not in order, the landing that we're using for the Roll20 is uh, by Captain Trax. We're going to leave you a link in the description down below. Uh, the images for our characters were created by here in the Hero Forge uh, tool. The music you will hear, the one you hear now, the music you will hear in, uh, throughout the game um, was provided by the people at Tabletop Audio. Uh, we're using some maps, some very nice maps uh, by Witchy Witch Adventures. I will, will leave a, a link in the description to her Patreon. Um, and we also were, um, my friends and players at this game, they have already filled out the consenting gaming checklist by Shauna Germain and Shane and Sean Key Reynolds will leave a description for that. And from now on, the EX card by John Stravopoulos is on the table. The EX card, if you don't know what I mean, you're not um, uh, familiar with it, basically means that uh, any of the players at the table now can write an X, either in chat or make an X, a sign of an X, and I will move along the game. We'll stop what is going on and move along, maybe have a conversation afterwards about, it's all about being safe and having a great experience and not uh, stuff or something that is not uh, pleasing. Okay, so what we're starting today is uh, a campaign that I call Mysteries from the Keep. It is, we're going to try to play all the adventures or most of the adventures in Candle Keep Mysteries by the people that were Wizards of the Coast, but they are set now in my homebrew world of Sindrian. So uh, the idea is that uh, the Keep Candle Keep is now uh, the Nemedian Keep, which is many magical items are spread far and wide throughout Sindrian, the Sundered Land. A long time ago, an archmage named Nemed built a keep to contain the most dangerous of these objects, and her apprentices swore to continue her, their mistress's work. That was how the Nemedian Keep was born. And nowadays, the heirs of this legacy, the Nemedians, as they call themselves, travel the world around looking for these items of power, risking their lives against the weirdest of the arcane to ensure other people's safety. Today, we're playing episode one, which is The Joy of Extra Dimensional Spaces, an adventure written by Michael Pollinghorn and edited by Hannah Rhodes. So, uh, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Start? Okay, good. So, um... You are in this situation, The char all of your characters are uh, in a room, a very uh, cozy room filled with books on all sides, a huge uh, desk, black of black wood, uh, hardwood 
by the looks of it. Uh, and there's a woman in front of you. The woman is tall with long braided black hair, uh, dark skin, some glasses, some like weirdly designed glasses uh, on her face. And she has a tome in her hands. And she says, um, Hello, everybody. My name is Chanda, but you will refer to me as Senior de Medium or Madam. The joy of extra-dimensional spaces is a grimoire that was donated to the keep with the rest of the library of the mage Fistandia, following her timely disappearance. In her will, Fistandia bequeathed her collection to the Nemedians in appreciation for the many years she spent in these hallowed halls. The book is a treatise on extra-dimensional spaces, similar to those created by the Musumorn's magnificent mansion spell. Are you taking notes? She looks around. Is any of you taking notes? Like in I game? Am. Okay, good. Uh, says, you're expected to remember all these things. Well, uh, you as always, Briar, are uh, uh, a help for sore eyes here. And of course, you miss her as well. And she gives you a little bow. The sage Matreus asked to review the aforementioned grimoire, and she received a permit to peruse it in one of our rooms. That happened two days ago, and he has then disappeared. We fear for his well-being, but our instruments tell us that he is alive. So we ask you to review the room and find and bring him back here at your earliest convenience. As per usual, in the regulation of these expeditions, you are free to keep to yourselves whatever plunder you obtain during your ventures, nice. with the exception of, of dangerous magical artifacts, which you'll deliver to me as representative of the Nemedian Keep. Any questions? What is a classified as a dangerous magical artifact? Anything that you're not able to control or understand. Okay. So, we'll in that we'll... moment... Yeah, go ahead. Should we get going to this, then? I don't know. Okay. Whenever, when, when you stay go, let's go. Okay. What do what do people see when they look at these five people that are now sitting in this room with this woman? Let's start with not professionalism. Uh, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with Briar. Uh, how does Briar look like, Patricia? So Briar is a uh, uh, half elf, um, tan skin, brown hair, brown eyes, cheap. Uses a pair of glasses, reading glasses that keep falling off in her nose, so she keeps pulling them up. And she is always very si silent. Um, uh, she's really like it's not not scared, but very timid. Um, and she, you can tell that like, she always struggles to be the best student. You know, yeah, taking notes and stuff like that. Um, that's what you see. Excellent. Um, how about face crap, uh, Daniel? A severe, uh, stern uh, elf in fairly simple rows with a large uh, book of notes and his various uh, tools and syllabaries that he has prepared in case his knowledge is required. And how about you, Kirai? How, the, how does Kirai look like? The red-skinned tiefling has a cocky smile on his face, looking at the room like he owns it. Uh, he's an, an ex external contractor that the keep has brought to help using his expertise in arcane and magical artifacts. Right. Yeah. So the rest, both Briar and I think uh, Facecribe, both of them are part of the keep. They work regularly there. Um, actually, Facecribe, you are consider you have like the, the, the honorable title of senior Nemedian, although now that you're starting, you're like starting from the bottom because you're now mm -hmm. starting like to work on the on the field, like you're considered a junior still. Um, how about Nadar, uh, Jose? Um, how, does, how does Nadar look like? Excuse me. Captain Nadar. Captain Nadar, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'll make sure I forget that. 
Captain Nadar, it's a dra how do you call it? It's a dragon Draconite. Draconite. It's a Draconite of copper color. Uh, he have uh, some tentacle like um, dread dreadlocks uh, behind his hair. His head. Uh, he use uh, a very um, oh I forgot the, the word um, holgado um, loose lo loose cloth. Thank you. With a leather jacket that everything combined with his uh, skin color. Uh, he is light. He, he is six foot six foot one, and will uh, smile every time. Right. Um, and last but not least, uh, tell us about Paki, uh, Diego. You see Paki. Uh, you see a very androgynous figure. You could even, you could say she or he, and you wouldn't like. If if he was a he, he's a very like handsome and very fine feature man. But if it's a she, she's a bit brawny, but she is very well mannered. Um, she always or one, well, they always are carrying a staff. So even when the the woman was speaking, he was grabbing the staff in between his legs sitting and his head was leaning in the staff. All the claws are almost like Aladdin-esque, like street rat kind of way. Um, uh, not in the type of clothes, but in the way it's they're worn and they and he has Clearly, half half elven features uh, with tan skin. That's what you see. Okay. So these are the five people that uh, uh, Chanda, the senior Numidian, has chosen for this particular adventure. Uh, do you have any questions, or would you like to move along? Uh, Could we examine Sage Matreus's notes? Could we see any progress that was made? in studying the grimoire. Yes, you will have access to all of that in the room that I already described. It's all there for you to peruse and look over. Well, if there are no further questions, um, Ushan and uh, a young uh, man with a brown robe, uh, very skinny, uh, pale skin, bulging uh, eyes like with probably he, he hasn't slept much uh, in the past few days. Uh, he makes a bow and he says, My secretary will lead you to the room. Um, you are now the medians. Remember our founder's legacy and beware of magic. Sometimes it's much more dangerous than it appears to be. And by saying saying that, um, Chanda starts looking at her papers and dismisses you. Like, she won't pay any more attention to you now. Bye, boss! Since you are near... <laughs> Since you're in the medians, uh, you have been encouraged in a very weird way. All of you get inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll start the game Hell with inspiration. Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to take that inspiration indeed. Yep. Okay, cool. So, um, Ushan, uh, he won't say anything unless you talk to him and he leads you through the halls of um, the Nemedian Keep. The Keep is a huge place. It was originally built as um you know this this it was originally built uh by an order of knights it was supposed to be uh, a place of training for um soldiers and people and warriors and stuff like that but it has has been turned into this uh place for scrolls and magical items of all sorts um you go through the holes the holes are very uh small in general terms um, difficult to traverse. There are some big holes, like the ones in the in the drawing behind me. Uh, and then you get to the room. Uh, Ushan uh, speaks a magical word, um, and then the the lock on the on the um, on the door the uh, shines with a little um, with a little light, which is. Uh, it's of uh, brown color, like a metallic brown, and then it opens. Ooh, For those of you I who love have... this place, it's so... 
<laughs> in this case, both Faith, Faye, Tribe, and Paki, you both recognized um, that the the magic that was used, color brown, is the color of enchantment. Um, in in this world, and you open, he opens the door, and you're now in the middle of a quite uh, comfortable room that I will show you right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you should be able to look at this. I can only can you see, see the room? my token. You can't. I only see my token. Yeah, I can. Oh, no, I, I see I everything. Can. Good. Ah. That there's an issue that you and Adar, you don't have any light. Uh, you're, you don't have a, you don't have the, <laughs> there's no light in the room. Ah. And, and, I, but I, I, can't I don't see, see anything. Okay, and I, me neither. And I have n neither, neither the map or it my is, token. So, let me, yeah. Sorry, you should be able to see So, this now. campaign is brought to you by us. Us! Nope. <laughs> oh, okay, Only okay, us. okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I will talk about it. Please. I, 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 I was don't don't cool. make him suffer, please. Yeah. I was, I was uh, literally jumping the shark there. And it, eh, eh. Uh, don't worry. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Plot twist. I, I was okay. about to kick you on the... Mute, mute. Yeah. Mute, a button of yeah. mute. <laughs> uh, can you now see your token? Yeah, now I can see the room. Okay. I can. I still cannot. I, can. I see everything. I can ah, see them. now. I can. I see yeah. black. Okay, Nadar, would you like to use a torch or any other device in order to light the room? Wait, wait. I'm wait, the wait. only one blind here. Yup. Everybody yep. else has a way of looking. And I, and I don't even have a light for you. I I didn't pick that cantrip. <laughs> I'm do sorry. Me, do you really huh. want? Do you really want me to spend? One of my only and most valuable torch. Stop, I say, my friend. Excuse me, Stop. excuse me, Mister Mister Nadar. Eh, eh, Captain Nadar. Would you, would you, yep, Captain Nadar? Would, would you like me to? I have here, and she looks. I have a torch. Maybe we, we can. Would you like me to? Sure. It up? Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your name. Okay, okay. And she takes. Your name. Your your Brian. She likes Brian. The... Yes, 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 I'm Brian. Okay. Very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Can you see now, uh, yeah, Nadar? I, I, I can see. Good. So you are in a room. This is a white room. You have a a, a comfortable sofa on the right. Uh, there's a there's a there's a table here with uh, some. Um, cold tea uh, that was prepared probably some time ago you have these two other um, sofas there is small sofas like chairs but with a lot of like very comfortable chairs and and then you have the main feature of the room which is this desk and there's a huge book very wide and thick open up um, and some some paper some parchment with some scribble on it what would you like to do? Can I ask you a question? Yep. As a player, because I have never played a sorcerer, so I'm not <laughs> sure. Can sorcerers Good. retro cast? Nay. No. Okay. No. I was I was 99% sure, but I wanted to double yep. check. Thanks. Sorry, yeah. No, no, no. All good, all good. Speaking so. of ritual casting, okay. <laughs> Faye, Faye Scribe takes out a tome and begins sort of tracing patterns and placing their glowing runes around the air and starts clearly preparing a very slow but something that he's done many times before without talking to any of you just preparing an array around him as he's uh, casting something that he'll be done in about 10 minutes <laughs> uh, well 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 so we have a mystery here it seems um, clearly you pay attention to the boss I didn't, so uh, can you explain me what are we doing here? Looking there is stunt. someone lost? There is a grimoire concerning extra dimensional spaces. It has clearly trapped the sage. I don't recommend stepping forward unless you wish to risk the same fate. It will only be a couple of moments. Uh, I'll. Uh, um, Paki will almost like blow a kiss 
and from the kiss a hand emerges okay and uh starts tracking the room almost like moving things but not very like with care trying to basically know see if there were there was dust if there was movement but just moving things from afar not hearing the fey scry talking that it, they take it seriously okay it, should i surmise that you would like to use your passive investigation uh yeah i'm using my my passive investigation and my mage hand just to move around things around good yeah sure oh one thing is that uh since since all of these adventures are all about magic i'll be using a lot of your passive arcana arcana in case that so we're, you don't have to be all the time like saying, yeah, can, can I roll for Kiana? Can I check this or you know that? Okay. So that, I have that in consideration as well. That's well, cool. Don't worry about Nadar. He will never roll Arcana. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But, but, I, but I say anyway, you know, you can roll. It's much better for you to roll than to take the, the passive or Arcana. Um, that's true. Okay, so that's going to be 10 minutes for face crime, uh, ritual casting something, 10 minutes for the investigation. What would the rest of you would like to do? Anything? Or are you going to wait? No. I'll be drinking. I'm okay. gonna step forward. Like... I, I'm gonna wait like one, two minutes, and then I'm gonna get bored. Okay. And I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, ooh. Okay. There we go. You wanna step forward? Like one step? Yep. No. Nope. See around me? Is there... you don't have any patience? Do you have any cu curiosity about what happened here? Yes. Are you an investigator? Not really, but patience well, is key. Are you afraid that what could happen to me? Not really. Mr. 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 Kyra, ¿cómo se dice tu nombre? Kyra. Mr. Kyra, maybe may, may we should we should wait, wait, wait. It's too dangerous, sir, sir. Ah, oh, don't worry about me, little girl. I'm fine. <laughs> little girl, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> Look, I think that was a character, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. so uh, Briar is going to make an investigation, but from her spot, she's not going to move. Like wh wh whatever she can see, you know, but, but she's not going to move. Okay, cool. Would you like to roll or are you going to, to, to use the bathroom? I'm going to roll, so... Good. Ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, the 10 total or 10 to die plus your 10 uh, total okay yeah well um you look around and you realize that the room seems very tidy and very well kept and the one thing that really surprises you is that this room like no one has entered this room probably in two days like in the time that that chanda told you that um the the sage matreus had disappeared since that time, like no one has entered here. There are no there are no footsteps, there's no dust on the floor. It probably probably cleans itself in some fashion because in two days there there would be some dust over the desk and on the floor. But you can you can't see any. Nadar will be Nadar close to Briar. <laughs> Nadar will be close to Briar and ask anything interesting? You have to move there. <laughs> yeah, move there. He, he moved. Yeah. She she cowers. She said like. Uh, cowers. Yeah. No, 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 anything. No, nothing interesting, sir. Nothing interesting. I see. You let me know. Okay. Okay. This is why you, Nemedians, I will need help from people like me. I mean, look at you. All cowering in the entrance instead of looking for answers. I mean, come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another step. 
I'm still alive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I, I'm paid for recover the stuff, not how we do it. Sure. Yeah, you're still alive, and the room seems uh, awfully normal. Anything of interest that I can see from my uh, position, aside from the massive magic book in front of me? Not really. Okay. I think there's there's some kind of there, there's a lamp here, uh, an oil lamp, but there's there it it has like you you see that it has like a little bit of oil left, and, and it hasn't been uh, replenished basically or resupplied. Is it lit? No. Nope. I'm gonna uh, use prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Yeah. To great. Lit the candle, and I'm going. If I I don't see anything interesting beside the tomb. I'm just gonna casually walk to the other side of the desk and sit in the in the chair. In the big chair here? Yeah. Okay. In the chair. <laughs> yeah. Um Brian's right, going like almost. How do you like how do you how do you cast spells? How does uh, uh Kirai cast spells? Uh, for this one I just hums like mm -hmm. a little with a gesture of the hand and the candle lit perfect <laughs> okay so you 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 hear and see how you know um kirai hums a little bit all of a sudden uh an oil the oil lamp uh, uh, basically lit up um and now the room has this this uh there's a, a bit of a there's another room there's another Another source of light here, and you move there, and basically nothing happens from your viewpoint. Maybe give me a perception check, I think, in this case. Oh, yeah. Or investigation if you want to. I'm gonna do an investigation. Sounds okay, yeah. like a yeah. better idea. Yeah. Do you know something that I just figured out? <laughs> <laughs> My yep. character is not designed for mysteries. <laughs> you will be helpful. I hope yes, I really, that's really okay. think you will. That, yeah. That's why it's a party game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, here I um you look around and for you it seems like this is so like boring. There's nothing here except this big old uh, big old ass book. So you sit down, you look at it. The book is written, it's one of these like Imagine all these medieval manuscripts that were that were illuminated. That had a lot of details, mm -hmm. but this one has instead of of decorations on the sides, it has a lot of shorthand. There are a lot of notes in shorthand, mm -hmm. and and the book itself is written in um in this case, uh, is written in a language you don't understand. Um, it is like common, but it's like written in, in with certain uh, spelling. And a certain grammar that is alien to you, and and the in the page is open. It has a bookmark, and it's and it has like a few designs on it as well, like drawings and all of these notes. So you have a, the main book, and then you have shorthand on the sides. My mage hand is going to be hovering. I moved in like a a bit in front, and my mage hand is going to be hovering, like on top of the book like a mom hand waiting for the children to touch the cake and just snap it. <laughs> so it's just there. Okay, good. Um, it's still with your book, uh, Magic Man. Has it been 10 minutes? Now it's 10 minutes. Uh, and, and I think that in these 10 minutes, well, you finish your investigation, uh, Paki. And what you notice is that the place um, hasn't really been altered in the, in the past uh, few days. It's very uh, clean. What really caught your attention is the book. The book is like the main attraction. And you really, uh, you see that this, the, this book was here, it has been here for a long time. And it has, um, in the sense that 
the book seems to to be like put, put in a position that it was there before. Mm. Probably this room hasn't been used more than once. Um, you see the markings of of the book, the covers, how they how they scratch a little bit the desk, um, and all of that. So yeah, you get this idea like probably like that, and you see that um, there are notes beside the book. But I don't think I can the, read them. Yeah, I'm, I'm too. If far you move away. closer, you maybe you can take a look at those. Okay, no, I'll stay. I'll wait for Facecribe to do his <laughs> jam. Okay, Fay, how do you cast detect magic? He begins pulling symbols related to multiple different uh, schools of magic, and begins essentially overlaying uh, an an array of them uh, around his eyes so that they become sensitive to the specific. Um, types of, of magic. Uh, so, do your eyes glow, or is it like how do you perceive magic in that sense? Yeah, there there's a there's like runes floating uh, right in front of his eyes uh, while this is active, uh, and if he spots a particular kind of school, yeah, they they flow. The ones that are not relevant sort of fade towards the edges, and he gets more information regarding the the specific effect that he's looking at. Okay. Um, and there's a little bit of brown magic enchantment mm -hmm. all around the room. Uh, but it's very subtle. It's like probably mm -hmm. in the foundations of the room. I want anything else. But, but of course, the one thing that lights up yeah, is the, the book. book. The book has a, a, a lot of white, which is abjuration magic, mm -hmm. uh, on the outside. But on the inside, you take a look at it, and it has a lot of green magic, which is conjuration. So, huh. and and the magic is strong. The mm -hmm. book is a grimoire, it's a tome. It has you can learn spells from this from this treatise. Yes. Also, apart from other things. But yeah, that's the one thing that is really um, calls your attention. The rest of the room seems particularly like normal in that sense, mm -hmm. except for this enchantment mic that you. Well, it has to do with the maintenance of the place. Yeah, and stuff like keeping that. it clean and orderly. Yeah. As expected, the effect focuses on the grimoire. There are no hidden traps, no... <clears throat> other points of interest. So he approaches the desk. My friend. Good. Now that will uh, jump to the... to the couch and sit there. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, now now that he has it active, he'll look through the notes. Presumably, these were uh, from Sage Matreus. Uh, so ideally, he wants to get some more information from the from where the sage had begun uh, to see at what point in the process they got interrupted and figure out what happened to them. Okay, how about you, Briar? Would you like to do anything? Here? People are starting moving around the room like they actually the, the moment of respect. Well, she has mumbles passed. she mumbles to herself maybe a little bit loud. Like that's all you got after ten minutes. And she <laughs> and she starts, you know, um um inspecting the room but through the through the walls, you know, like she's she's afraid to step forward directly to the book. So, so she moves you know, um, through the walls. Okay. Watch out Pagu with the will, Pagu, Pagu will shout out to Briar. Briar, we need more eyes here. The more, the merrier. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes Mr. Paki, yes. And he, and she moves. Yes, sir. Very okay. slowly. <laughs> to the books. <laughs> okay, good. Kirai, would you like to do anything? You're, you're the first with the book. You're the first that has a book on, in front of him. I look at the group with a grin, like, what took you so long? I'm gonna lick my finger, and I'm gonna turn the page, like, inspect the book, and see what is written on it. Ooh, actually, and, and like, what I'm actually doing, seeing if this looks like something uh, expensive or fancy yeah okay uh give me uh i think in this case uh for you 
Yeah, sure. Give me a give me an arcana check, I think. Um because oh, yeah. you need to know like how valuable is it. Oh well. So that's okay. I'm the expert, um, don't worry. Yep. Mm-hmm. You take a look at it. This thing is super expensive. Like probably um uh, we're talking about thousands of gold pieces. Um but it is also and you can say the like this is not the type of book that you can steal and like get away with it unless you have a magic on on your side that can help you. Yeah. Um a strong magic. <laughs> and when you start moving the pages you realize that they are written and and there's there's a lot to decode here more than the language the signs and everything it's something that a wizard probably wizard types could and you as well if you go down that road uh, you could learn from it if you have it if you have it long, long enough hmm so now you are here tell me my friends my friends. <laughs> what a funny guy. Yes. Can I tell in what language is, is written the book? I know. Yeah, you know a lot of languages. Uh, I know a lot. Of- it, is, it is actually written in common, but it is. Ah. It has a lot of the language of the. Um, it has a lot of magical lingo, I would say. Like, there's a uh, lot of terms about magic, and of course, it's this thing. Like, if I say to you MS, like, what is MS? Like, if I read MS, for me, it's manuscript. Like, that's one thing. Like, you read that, and you get, you have like this code, and there's a lot of code here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of code in the in the in the descriptions, the figures. But you can see that the, the figures and descriptions are about casting a spell or a number of spells. With something in common, you can you can tell by the there are terms that repeat one after the other in the same page, and the shorthand is different. That's something else entirely. Well, uh, this escapes my expertise. I surely think that this is more something that you can help with here, and I'm gonna turn it Close. and push it to five. I'm more like ancient artifacts kind of guy no yes a, a, a procurement expert not yeah 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 sure that work okay Faye. uh are you looking at it would you like what would you like to uh i want to look at the notes of the sage who was studying it before because as high of an esteem that face scribe has for his abilities he doesn't presume that he would be able to avoid whatever mistake the previous sage did before. So he wants to figure out what the sage did before he starts studying the the grimoire by himself. Or like, from scratch. Um, That's going to take you... uh, You will have to look at the notes and review them, basically. Uh, So that is going to take you 10 minutes, if you want to. like, Or you can roll. You, You can either wait 10 minutes, review all the notes, and I'll give you some permission, or... Test your luck and roll now, and you can get like this moment of, ah, oh, looking at all the. Oh, here's here's a very important detail that I should know. So, don't don't you worry. Know? I'll roll. Uh, you, can I, can I ask? Good. Can I ask? You have the help of uh, investigators, investigator extraordinaire, Hava Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, I I want to ask something to Anian for for mm-hmm. Bucky will stand beside you, respectfully, like not intrusively, but like. At, like in a disposition to help, would you like for them to help you? Sure. If, if you're a fellow practitioner, you know, even even of a of a different discipline, there, there's enough of an understanding that yeah. So I have my way with magic. I can maybe help you. Yeah, teamwork. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So roll with advantage uh you know, face scribe and you get the bardic inspiration as well arcana there's a roll by the way here we go <clears throat> Woo-hoo! okay that's a not 20 the first one of the campaign <laughs> he didn't that's even great. need the help or the or the bardic inspiration Dude, no. you don't know the, the hell. Yeah, yeah. No. you can roll that if you want to. No, I'm I'm keeping the bardic inspiration for 
okay, for okay. a different moment. Okay, this is the moment of like it's a TV series. Like the one of the characters is looking at a lot of <laughs> like a stack of papers, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, this one is important. Mm -hmm. And you take out with the help of with the help of uh, Paki, you yes. notice that Paki is very good at reading like weird language, like they are like catching things like, hey, look at this, look at that. And for you, it's mm, not maybe maybe he maybe they know uh, about a language that you don't know about. Um, hmm. And you get a page and you start reading. And what you basically get is that um, Sage Matreus had discovered that Fistandia had somehow found a way to create a permanent version of, of the Musa. Musumorn's Magnificent Mansion Smells. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Huh. And of course, and Matreus is like fascinated by this. It's like, oh my god, I got it. It's like, there's this thing in this book that tells you how to create a magnificent mansion that's for real things. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's forever. Um, but uh, um, And though in those notes that Matreus did, they tell that the 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 key is in the shorthand. In that point, at the point in the game, Briar, you're looking at the at the tome, like just from a little bit of a bit of a far, and you take a look at it and you see a word written on the shorthand on the side, but it is not written as it's supposed to be. It's written not from left to right or like from uh, from down upwards, like in this case when you are writing on the sides, it's written like if it's one letter, another letter on top of it, another letter on top of it, and so on and so forth. And you read a word, and it says scepter. What? What? Scepter? Scepter. scepter. I'm going to leave it in the chat. So I, I don't say the word, but I step and I say, eh, excuse me, eh, sir, Sir, uh, scribe, um, here yes. if you look at this, uh, you can see the word, and I point with my fingers. Uh, mm -hmm. oh. up. And it's a common. Well so there's an the S, there's a C, there's an E, there's a P, and all of them, and they are like mounted one letter on top of the other. Mm. Hmm. A passphrase, perhaps. The shorthand is written in, like, was it written by Matreus or is it from uh, Fistandia and Matreus was studying that? Like, who, who wrote that it? You read, yeah, according to notes that you read, the shorthand was by Fistandia, but the author of the book is neither. It's not Fistandia nor Matreus. The book was actually written by Musumor. Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh yes, indeed. And any This of you is... who would like to roll an arcane an arcana check, I can tell you who Musomorn is. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to in on that. Go. Yeah, yeah sure. Why not? Only This is terrible rolls. informational security. I know shit. <laughs> yeah, you were close. By the way, well, it wasn't. But I won. No. <laughs> okay. Um, so, in this case, um, I think um, Paki, Kirai, and Facecribe, the three of you, when you say Facecribe, Musumorn, like, yeah, sure. Musumorn is uh, a great arm archmage. Uh, well known throughout history most people say that, that he wasn't from um, Sindrian, he was from someplace else and he's usually very well known because he's the typical wizard in this world which is like bald having a thick mustache a pointy beard a ri a golden rings on, on his um, ears uh, and with a very like stern face um And you, uh, Paki, when you are thinking about this, you look at the book, and in the book that you have in front of you, if you look like on the side, you can see one of its covers, and you 
see a bas relief that looks a little bit like the description I just did of this character? Oh, like an embossment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the okay. on the front. Yeah. I'll I'll actually like excuse me, may I just for a second. I'll hold the page where face mm -hmm. is looking and I'll look at the embossment and try to like see if that like if there's any uh anything different from what I remember of him. Yeah. I'm going to send you because uh, I'm not sure about the the legal stuff, but I'm going to send you uh, an image and you and I'll describe it for the rest of you. But um but yeah, you take a look at this and let me know if you can if you can check at this. You see um, that the cover of the book has I can't see that by the way. Emboss no. no has an embossing. I don't have access. Okay, let me just do this. Um, the book has an embossing on the cover that it is um, let's see if it works now. Yeah, it's weird. This always happens, of course. You know, mm -hmm. you can well, say some things in it. We and are, <laughs> you we are live. Like... Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, well, we're, we're, Actually, we're we don't this. like <laughs> we we do, but we don't. Yeah, we can cut this part. <laughs> okay, so no. it's now in the, <laughs> no. we can see. You should be able to see now. So you see oh, this okay, image. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That's how the book looks like, and that's the cover. That's the, the image of the cover. Once again, it's Mutsumorn, very well known throughout Sindrion mm -hmm. and probably from someplace else. Um, and that's 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 the image of the cover. Okay, I'll 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 return the book. If 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 I if I don't see anything weird with the cover, I see like. If, there, if nothing stands out, I will return the book to Faye, and I'll. Before I return, I will say, maybe he has more answers, and I'll look at the weird tiefling. Maybe you can talk to him. Yes, that that would be beyond my abilities, but I'm unclear as to how your harmonic resonances are capable of reaching past the veil. Regardless, it would appear that. Um, our sage was uh, investigating the, the, the effect of a permanent mansion. I suspect instead of creating one, they've been trapped within an existing one. Of course, it's permanent. Yeah. But won't a simple... No, if it's permanent... It won't disappear. It's permanent. So that's the Once the first the one is created, no more can be created. It's permanent. Yeah, but you didn't see any other magic here. No, I believe you require knowledge from the Grimoire to cast the spell that gives you access to the mansion. Perhaps the spell as written is the creation of it, but right now it's already been created. It is permanent. Now, the spell that we are most familiar with is perfectly harmless. It's designed to be completely safe. Hopefully, that explains why the other... Well, why the sage is still alive, as far as we can tell. So it sounds that we need to cast the spell to go to the permanent mansion and bring our friend back. Surely we have... I mean, you all look like pretty skilled people. I'm pretty Not sure me, I'm we can weak. find... What? Hmm? I'm very weak. My, my family abandoned me because I wasn't able to leave anything. To do anything good. That's um, a pretty weird uh, contract that you have here. Then I don't know. 
if you are qualified, my friend. I don't but know don't what worry. I'm doing here. Who are you? Don't... Who are you people? Okay, uh... maybe this is a game that I'm not aware. <laughs> so I'm gonna instead ignore it and continue talking. <laughs> yes. So yeah, what about we jump into some mansion action and save our friend? That's certainly one avenue. I would suggest we study the spell to determine if it is actually safe as the and I say transient Spectre. version. A mumble okay. scepter. Yeah, you say scepter and then... Scepter. Oh, oh. There's no. like a huge sound reverberates in the room. And right, like, you fall, like, the chair moves a little bit, uh, in your case, Kirai, and in the middle oh. of the room, uh -oh. there's now a pair of double doors um, of bright, bright green uh and they are and they are and they are open. Like they are they could be open, like they are closed, they are double doors closed now, but you can see some light coming from the other side. Ah. Good job, little girl. You see? You only needed the inspiration. <laughs> that went Somewhere better that than expected. Push into your greatness. So shall we go on? Oh yeah! Something fun finally! The last one is Akobol. Is the book still on the table? Yep. Right can I pick right it up? Right. Sure you can. <laughs> Perhaps gonna... the reason why the sage is trapped is because he failed to take the proper term of reference. Maybe. Well thought, my friend. So what do you do? Maybe I should wait here in case you need No, 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 come with us. Since you were the one to say the passphrase, I believe your presence is likely required. I, I, I don't think so. You made yourself indispensable. I do? Sorry, that was that was a quote for Hamilton. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Hello open the tabs. door. Do you open it? Yeah. yeah okay, you open the door and you see uh, a stone floor uh, a man sat on the floor. He is uh, middle-aged, uh, white hair, white beard, uh, unkempt, uh, dressed with uh, gray robes. And he says, Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I am so glad that you finally found someone came for me. I've been shouting spells on this thing for the past half hour. Um, and he starts like getting up gets up from the from the floor um and then you're now in a place that has uh there's a ceiling that's about um uh, 15 feet tall and there's a long hallway stretching out on either side of this place uh but my name is matreos uh, uh i'm very happy that you're here what what are your names and he asks you kirai and the rest of you mm -hmm. that is that are uh behind you Good that you ask. I am Kirai, investigator extraordinaire, expert of the arcane, master musician, and compositor, painter, Good. and many other things. Be glad that you are in my presence. <laughs> sure am. Good. I'm and, come on, come, I well, love, I you have to step in in order to get there, so you are there now. Uh, how about the rest of you? Can, from the outside, can we see this and hear this? Or is it like a glowing door? It's just a glowing door. Yeah. So, yeah, without knowing like, <laughs> what this is happening, we step through. I step right. through. Face cry. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Paki and Briar? I'm, I'm waiting for Briar. Okay. Briar is like looking like it's waiting for everyone to go through and <laughs> she's, she's not moving. And you no. want to come the door. Do you want to come with me? Um, no. Are you coming? Maybe. Okay. I have faith. And I'll walk in. I am 
the only one, Dave? Yep. 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 Oh. Can the other and you, see the can, door? Can I can I ask a question before because oh, I, I want to Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a cat. Um can my can my mage hand come towards the outside the door and and do this to <laughs> Briar? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Sure <laughs> and Briar, you see this glowing. Fine. Fine. She steps through. Good. Very scared. <laughs> oh. Uh, how about you, young people? What are your names? Ah. Sage uh, Matreus? Yeah, Matreus doesn't doesn't say uh <laughs> junk to you, uh, by the way. Uh uh, um, right oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. My name is Matreus. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I believe I, uh, I... Elder Namedian uh, Chenda has sent us to retrieve you. Oh, yes. That's no, so nice of her. I, I think I've seen you before. Haven't I? You're one of, you're one of the... One, you're the last one, is, aren't you? Like, the last of the apprentices. Am I the last? Huh. You are the last. Um, can I? This is Paki's thing. Can I roll an, an insight check to see if this guy seems legit? Yeah, sure. Can I do two? Sure, go ahead. Not bad. Very good. Oh, come on. <laughs> now that is a people person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This I is mean- the part in which. Uh, you are amazing players, so I'm going to tell you what each of you distinguish, which is going to be different, and you will not use that in game because you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, in your case, Pucky, you take a look. This guy is like it. It is one of it is like a, you would say like a typical person, like a typical Nemedian, weird, socially weird, um, pretty much unable to carry on a conversation unless it is about it is about magic. If it is about magic, like that's like the the greatest thing ever. You notice those things as well, um, that are. But you notice something on top of that. This guy is excited, excited like someone who got like the best present they could on Christmas uh, morning. Mm. And he's like excited, and you can see that he he's fidgeting with something on his pocket. Okay. So. Go, go, go. No, no, please go ahead. No, I, if you want to ask something. No, no it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So he passes through you and says, Okay, so now, now, you, now, of course, you know you know the word. I know the word. So I'm going to go back. I need to, to just grab some stuff to take notes, some supplies, and I will come back here and we can explore this place and make a map of it and maybe take down some notes. Wait a minute. Why won't we go everyone together as a as a party, as friends? We are all friends, right? So because, no, no one can get less uh, Because behind. the door will collapse. The door will collapse if if the person who spoke the word comes back because it's like it's like I was oh, that you go through. Out. Yes, I'm going to go back to the room. And I have some things in my in the room. That you were just now. But, Am I making myself clear? No, but not yes, not if. No. I mean, why would you come back? Let's all go. We need to retrieve you. Yes, that was yeah. our mission. That's yeah, our but, mission. But he, don't you understand? And he starts now. I think that probably I would say, uh, Paki, you start noticing that he is fidgeting with something in his pocket. Like, I'll, <laughs> with with the ahead. staff, I'll I'll like with the bottom part of my staff, I'll point and almost tap where he's fidgeting, fidget, fidgeting. Like, what you got there? Did, do you say that? What you got yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. This is Paki's very light. Okay, he looks at you and he's like, okay, okay. I confess, and he pulls out and he shows you uh, a beautiful uh, miniature of a humanoid creature with little horns, a little tail, 
some wings, and it's made of onyx. It's like black onyx. I found huh. this while I was just roaming around. Imagine all the other things that we can find here. But I need Ooh. I need paper. I need parchment to write on, and some quills, and, and some ink, and probably a huge. I bag. have that in my pack. I have I, this I, also. I have. I, well, we're well prepared. Listen, yeah, I uh, really think we no should smart. investigate this tower, my friends. Oh, can I? Can uh, Paki get a little bit closer to the statue and see if they could recognize it? Roller or can I check? <sighs> hmm. I would like to return the favor of helping. Going, I believe. Uh, most interesting. I'd like to give you <laughs> advantage. Okay, okay. Ooh. I mean, that's good. Not bad. That's super good. Okay, this is like, I mean, yeah, you know, the commentary from from face crimes, like you know, like the one that points you out. Both of you, well, you know, you can tell the rest of you. Paki, you look at this, and Stinjun is supposed. It's called the Sundered Land because it's supposed to be. A place like a primordial world that is separated from any other plane. They, you don't have a easy, easy access to any other plane. But of course, throughout the years, since a, a storm of magic that happened 150 years ago, people have now encountered more and more creatures from the other planes of existence. One of such places is called Inferis, the world below. Mm -hmm. The place from where, actually, Inferians come from, like Kirai. And this creature looks one of the denizens of that place. Usually they are known as imps. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this statue, this miniature, is super, like, is the most well-done miniature of an imp that you've ever seen, if you ever saw one. Clearly. Completely immobile. Like, isn't moving, right? No, not no. at all. Absolutely immobile. It says, well, you know, if you have anything, I'm just gonna go and drop this, and he's out. he takes it the back, and he steps through the door. It, and when but, he does that, no, you hear, <laughs> and a spray of blood comes through the door, and the door disappears. Oh. No! Oh. You know, that's why I wanted. I, I don't want to him to to, to leave the door. What do you do? Some I believe we security. failed. I can see shit. I can see that, my friend. I mean, ah, sorry, I'm going to give you. That. I'm going to bring it. I, I assume that that um, that Nadar brought one of the brought brought the torch. The torch. Torch with him. Yeah. Uh, I uh, don't way, suppose one of you is capable of resurrection. By the way, I don't think we failed. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually retrieved his body. Exactly. He is retrieved. We are so competent, my friends. And so he and, and he didn't die with us? I don't think so. So how much blood is on this side of the door? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> like you like it's a little like it's spray. It's more like it's okay. Like like, like you be when someone cuts the arm yeah. and it's sprayed. Yeah, like... Like, shh, what like do you think? Uh, it is like some kind of security system that the mansion has for thieves or maybe is something that it could happen to us just by leaving the this is why I wanted to study the spell more do I still have the grimoire yeah or I'm okay. with you actually uh, don't just you, you realize um, give me a day or the... two look a day <laughs> Hey, but I don't have enough. The aim. place, I'm... <laughs> you're not noticing so... the place that you're in. Sorry, and you notice that the place is like it has. There's an indigo miasma, like swirling beneath, like the floor. The floor that you're stepping on is transparent. So, <laughs> and this miasma seems to be all around, and it seems to emit some kind of light because the whole place. Looks like uh, it has the, this this tone of like indigo. You what would you like? To, what were you going to say uh, from face crime? So he is now to going to the book and seeing 
going back to get some details about the spell to figure out because this is clearly not as harmless as the non-permanent the sort of one day mansion that he knows Uh, the details of excuse me my friend Um, did you say that your name is Nadar? yep Uh, care to look uh, what is outside like take a peek you want me to look outside but the door is safe yeah sure why not no, 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 don't, don't go outside. Just poke your head, see what is there. You, you look like some... The door closed. Yeah. The, the door vanished, right? There is vanished. No door. Oh. Well, forget yeah. that. So, uh, as, far, <laughs> as far as I, I, I know, I can't uh, go through doors or through walls. Yeah. Not yet. Maybe hmm. later. Ooh. No, so, it doesn't work. It's we hard. are trapped. Uh-huh. Let's check these rooms. Hey, Miss Briar, what was the password you said? You you look behind you and, and Briar is like kneeling in the floor, imperver- hyperventilating. Like, ah, I knew it, I knew it. I didn't have to come. <sighs> Why did they make me cross this, 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 this door? <laughs> My dear, no one made you. The no, passphrase like... was uh, scepter, but uh, clearly it doesn't work the other way. I'm sure that's one of the first things that Matreus would have tried. Yeah, doesn't work. Uh, and this is a door, by the way, but it's it is north of me. Uh, yeah, there's a door in front of you. There's a door to the right. There's a door to the left. The, the, there's a a huge hallway that goes both directions and there seems to be some stuff around um i'm gonna open the door like mm-hmm. the one right in front of you yeah yeah good i just going to kill you <laughs> <laughs> okay so you open the door um oh look a cat and there's a cat there and there's a black cat uh and he Stretches out and he falls to the floor and starts moving towards you. I'm gonna pet the cat. Good. The cat is very happy. This is the best Sunday adventure ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pet the cat, the cat in D. Yeah. Um <laughs> And you actually, the cat starts like uh, going against your your um, your hand, moving around, uh, and making a an animal handling check, please. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, the cat start starts like um, scratching uh, and their their head against your your hand and your clothes and your 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 legs um and then they go outside uh they start moving towards the door and they get at the door and they look back at you like waiting for you i'm going to follow the cat whatever okay. let's go so you all Let of you see that a black cat comes out of a room that Kirai entered and oh my god, it's turning looks... into a cat. Ah. <laughs> the cat looks at you like... That is quite the complex spell. Not not very interested, really. And then the cat starts moving to this to the, to the this place. I'm and going again... to follow the cat. Uh, tell me when you are done reading that, that book. Okay. From where you're okay, standing, two, Briar, maybe three. Nadar and Paki, all of you, you can see that this room inside because, uh, you know, Kirai left the door open. You can see inside it has a lot of books. Like there are, there's like books from from uh, top to bottom, from the floor to the to the ceiling, um, and they are basically covering the, the the north wall. The cat keeps on moving and gets to this place and says. Yeah, and start scratching the door. Hey, hey! Take it easy, little fella. Let me open the door for you. 
Okay. And I die. <laughs> okay, you open the door. <laughs> and the cat enters. And then you can see two creatures that uh, have uh, wings. They are like small humanoids. Um, they're, yeah, actually tiny humanoids. Uh, and they look at you and and they're fluttering and then one of them um, like lands on the table the other one lands on, on the side of it and the first one says hello sir my name is coming and we are pleased to meet you this is my counterpart Coriander bonjour and we are here to help you with anything you can are you tired would you like something to drink something to eat anything oh. you can, anything we're going to do for you yes yeah, 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 my friends. I actually quite thirsty. I was just listening to uh, my boss uh, earlier and saying all these things, and I didn't have my wine on my hand, so I would like some some some, some wine. Do you yeah, have a you glass? You can see that. What well, that you can see that coming. Like flies, goes to a place, opens it, gets out a bottle. At the same time, coriander goes and grabs a beautiful crystal glass, brings it. He puts it like in front of you that you can grab it, and when you grab it, like come in, uh, come in, um, pour some wine on it, uh, very appropriately, doesn't like uh, spill a drop of it, and and they return the things to their place, and they come and they sit like right in front of you. Um, is there any things we can do for you, sir? While um, all this, we are made, we were made to serve. We. While all this happened, uh, like yep. as soon as they turn. Kirai is like, he, he, he's look at the group, it's like, and as soon they turn to, uh, turn to him, he's like, oh yeah, huh. <laughs> the cat starts, meow, meow. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to help my feline friend here. No, the cat actually, what he, what, what he, what he seems to be, there's a, you can see one of these small trays on the floor. And that has a little bit of a, like milk that is no longer good, some water and no, oh, please. no food there. Feed my feline friend. He's like quite hungry oh, and thirsty. Oh yes, of course, sir. Uh, we go really quickly, sir. Uh, and both of them move around and start once again feeding the cat. By the way, what when, the rest when, of you do? Yeah, when the, when there seems to be voices <laughs> coming out of the room, yes. Haki will move into the room. Not like right, not good. in a jog and nothing like that, but fuck you will move. I was waiting for the. <laughs> I'll be with Briar try, uh, try, trying to to calm her, uh, telling some some story of any of any of my travels. Do you know the the stories of my travels? Um. So trying to distract distract her from from the, the moment. Okay. Um. When you get through the door, Pucky, you see these two creatures that I just described, and one of them is like, Oh, hello, sir. Another visitor, sir. Yeah, well, my name is coming, sir. This is my counterpart, Coriander. Oui. Bonjour. <laughs> We're here to serve you, sir. Uh, uh, by the way, you is tired? it cumin and coriander? Yeah. Uh, yes. That's fucking amazing. I'm sorry. Those names are just... <laughs> um, uh, uh, d does Pucky understand what they are? Uh... Let me, let me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they are homunculi. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the player knows. Diego I just knows. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was double checking. Yeah, yeah, sure. you. Fucking you. Sure, yeah, you know, um, Pucky knows. Yeah, he knows um, enough of a magic to know about this. This is once again one of those things that you're expected to have once you are a magic user or canis of certain uh, degree. And yeah, they are both of them. There. Actually, by the way, roll. Give me a or kind of check for one special bit. That it will give you joke. if you go Let over. Let me see it. if I can. Ooh, nope. Hell yeah. Nope. nope. Well, like you start thinking about a monkey line, you like you lose yourself thinking about that. Um, do you ask? Do you ask them anything? Like they are asking yeah, if you want anything. The, the, the first thing I'll ask is, how long have you been here, and where is your creator, master? I don't know. The right nomenclature. Fuck that. Um, we have been here forever, sir. We. Oui. 
since we were created, of course, because our masters were very much um, in love, sir. We, um, and yeah, they went away a long time ago, so we haven't heard of them. Uh, my master was Lady Fistandia, and Coriander's master was called Foyot. Foyot? Foyot, sorry. Uh, we, Foyot, says uh, Coriander. Okay, Foyot, uh, whatever whatever he is trying to say, you know you know how they are. Um, so yeah, that's me, sir. Um, Fistandia's uh, servant, and Foyot is... Uh, sorry, uh, Coriander is his Frios servant. Um, can we offer you anything, sir? Something to drink, something to eat? We. Oui. <laughs> Shit. Um. <laughs> if I just is this place safe? Of course, sir. This is a house, sir. A home, sir. Wait. Do you uh, of know course. To... Of course, you know, the master said, Master Fisandi said, that we should never ever touch the books that have single letters on their spines. Wait. Okay. Thanks. Uh, nothing for right now, Coriander, Cumin. Oh, oh, you have more visitors, by the way. They may come in a while. Oh, over at the shop. I'll pop out, <laughs> and I'll and I'll tell uh, Face Scribe um, they're humunculi in the ah. kitchen. Uh, they said that we shouldn't touch single letter books. That's what their master uh, Fistania and uh, Trejon. The other master. <laughs> I'm. I'm just sorry. I need to do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, oh dear. Said, yeah. So yeah. Um, and I'll look back at Nadar and uh, Rare. And then what's, one time what's that in, the scene? De- in the desert, uh, I was almost a step in uh, o- o- over a, um, a scorpion. I, I, I. I I swear for God, he he fled me. The scorpion fled me. I never seen a, a scorpion that angry. Hey. I fear we are in rather more danger than I expected. Rather than a harmless mansion of uh, comfort, we appear to be in a mage's sanctum without the mage to lead us safely through it. Oh dear. So that's bad. But by the way, that sounds how's, like how's how's Briar doing? I want. Agree. Like, I, I was telling the story doing? to Briar. By, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I want to know Briar's. <laughs> yeah, sure. Briar, after a while, Mister Nadar, I'm going to say this. I I don't want to fi- offend you, but shut up. Uh, fuck up. <laughs> if I hear that, I'll ask, uh, is there anything I can bring you to calm you, Briar? Anything like There is some wine. A, 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 a nice cup of tea, please? Be back. And I'll I'll go fetch that for her. Uh, could you ask any more warnings that they might have heard the, from the mage? Yeah, sorry, uh, Paki. Do you go to fetch the tea yourself? Yeah. Uh, no, no worries, sir. We'll, we'll save you. What do you need, sir? No, no, no. I will go to the kitchen. Okay. And and, yeah. and ask for cumin. Place and, the order. Yeah, yeah and okay. place the order. Okay. I am not yeah. doing actually because I, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood the the, the labor that the homunculus are going to do. So I'm just like, yeah. Could you okay. ha- give me a, a cup of tea? Yeah. Right away, I'm going so, to crawl. Uh, I'm going to crawl. To the kitchen because I'm okay. so scared that I can't stop stand up. So I'm going to like roll to the kitchen and ask and get my tea. <laughs> Are you well, madam? Can we help you, madam? And both of the of the like, 
stop slaughtering and they try to grab you and lift you up but of course you know you're too heavy for them so they're like Ugh. um yeah. and Cumin, they, they uh, see... uh, Cumin coriander don't just let her this is she needs to process this alone don't worry just okay. get the tea please uh what kind of tea sir we have earl grey and we have chai and we have uh, some <laughs> chinese tea as well sir. it's just black just regular black so regular black tea sir uh would you like it with sugar and cream on top some milk everything <laughs> everything a lot of sugar a lot of sugar okay. please sure right away and they and hey, sorry do you have cooking. any else <clears throat> sorry what do you say i didn't catch that do you have any ale yes sir what do you like we have lager sir and we have ale and we have some uh red red uh, as well red one okay Ready for you, sir. We are. My name is. My name is Kamen, and this is my counterpart, Coriander. We, uh, we are here to serve you, and they bring you. And in this case, Kamen brings you the ale because Coriander is is fetching the tea for mm. Briar. Um, how about you, Face Scribe? Now you're basically alone. Like the rest of the group is like, <laughs> uh, on, on what it seems like the kitchen to the to your right. Um, but that's yeah. It. Yeah. Very slowly, after like seeing multiple people walk through the area right in front of him, Face Scribe will give just a couple of steps forward and wait and see if anything happens. Uh, ha I think it's been more than 10 minutes, but was it more than 10 minutes uh, since we entered this area? Because Detect Magic is up for 10 minutes, so I don't yes, know if I got any... Yes, you're right. Uh, this is going to be... Um, yes, you were distracted, so... Yeah. Roll a perception check and I'll tell you if you can catch something out of the corner of your eye because the, as you said the magic is still active. Mm -hmm. 22. Good. Amazing. So over the corner of your eye you lift your eyes from the book and now that, that it, there's nobody in you basically in your way you look at the at the books on the north wall here. Yeah. Uh, and you see that there's one of them which shines with a brown color. It's the color of enchantment. And uh, from where I am, it's too far away to figure out if it has one letter or multiple yeah. words on the spine. Okay, yeah. but I, I make a note of where which book it is because the, the spell is close to fading. Okay. Um, would you like to use anything else? Yes, I would like to cast Mage Armor on myself. <laughs> Face Scribe tries to peer through his personal fate to try and make sure that he will be just slightly more aware of any danger that might befall him in the future. Okay. Um, so, how you cast the Mage Armor. Uh, what, are you going to stay here on the hallway or will you go to the kitchen? Uh, after like uh, if they if they stay there for more than a minute or two enough yeah. that the the tech magic fades he he steps over to stand in front of the door but will not go in and just sort of try stays as alert as possible looking along the hallway how many coriander fly to the to the uh, to the threshold and they say oh, hello sir my name is Kaban and this is my counterpart coriander we oui. And we're here to serve you. Are you tired? Do you need some something to eat, something to drink? We have already uh, helped all of your friends. I do not visit. sleep or require sustenance at the moment. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And they fly away. Do not require sustenance. <laughs> okay, so a large part of the group is now eating and drinking. The cat is, is has, has been fed. Uh, is now scratch. Is now cleaning, cleaning uh, themselves. And the weird uh, elf wizard is out of the kitchen. And now we're going to have a break. A little yeah. tiny break. We'll be back super soon, okay? Okay. See you in See a you minute. some minutes. Well, hello. I'm back from break. We are. So let's continue uh, with this adventure. So you are in the... where well, you're still. The whole group is in the kitchen. You have... Uh, drunk some wine and some tea some uh, maybe yeah maybe 
nibbles a little something if you want to uh what would you like to do there's a door actually in the there are two doors uh in the kitchen one goes to the north uh and the other one goes to the east in case you want to explore either of those both sounds like a good idea are you going I... to any of those those doors uh kirai yeah i'm gonna start with the one at my right so yeah oh, okay uh, i i will ask the question that a cry like petition me to ask the homunculus i will uh, like is there any other um warnings we need to to know oh uh, yes sir. um what can i tell you uh something is building a pile of books in the library wait um we would really not know don't know why but whatever uh and you should be very uh careful in the arboretum in the what um arboretum garden oui. <laughs> yes yes sir yes that's the other term sir um there are a couple of creatures there that are very mischievous but totally harmless so i would suggest you stay out of the way sir oui. do you have a map Oh, no, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> in that Jeez. moment, Kirai, you open a door, and you find yourself in what appears to be, uh, like a dining room of sorts. Uh, and what well, you can well, see, well. um, there are, um, six. Um, six uh, um, chairs and one, a uh, seventh chair, which is on the on the north wall. Would you like to do anything here? I'm gonna take a seat on the seventh chair. Okay. And wait for the group. Sure. Is there any bottle of uh, ale or something uh, on the view? Sorry, can beer. you repeat that? It's any bottle of ale, beer, wine, anything uh, that I can I see in the kitchen? Bro, <laughs> not really. Bro. Like, like they they serve you, mm -hmm. but they put the stuff uh, once again in their proper place. But you can ask. Hey, do you have something that you can? Uh, Give to me, please. I'm so poor. Uh, sure, sir. What would you like to give us to you, sir? Ale. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. And they bottles, they... please. Oh, oh, sir. Yeah. Oh, uh, coriander. We please bring bring me a bottle of of ale for so. Uh, Commander Nether. Commander Nether, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> and coriander flies around and brings a bottle and gives it to you um you take it and it looks yeah. like a yeah. normal bottle of ale i take it and i will say this is the happiest life in day in my all my life thank you so much okay a, a thousand year old normal t bottle of beer <laughs> <laughs> it's beer okay they are happy to help I'm happy to get to have some beer. Wing wing. Okay. Wing wing. And it's free. Uh, and walk uh, away. Good. Where are you going? Um, I want to follow uh, Kiria. You're right. Okay, cool. You find this room, which looks once again like a dining room. There's a large, there's a large windows from the entirety of one wall, looking out on the three planted beds. Um, Filled with vegetation, you can see this part. This is a this is a, a huge window. You can see um, all this vegetation, uh, which is illuminated by some by a very shiny ball, uh, like of um, in the air that is emitting like a blue, pale blue light. Uh, and you also have um, there's a crystal chandelier that hangs above a table made of dark wood, and we have the six. Uh, matching wooden chairs, and there's the seventh, which is in the 
far corner to the north where Hirai is sitting on. He's sitting there. Hmm. This How about you, nice. Briar? I see that you're moving. Yeah. I, I I follow Nadar, but I don't. But I remember remain in their door. Okay. Um. That's this, it. This look nice. Yep. So, do you have any kind of clues that could help us out? I don't Dev? have any fucking idea. I asked the wrong person. <laughs> Do you want some ale? No, 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 no. Please. Okay, Paki, I see that you're moving. What would you like to do? Paki. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I was... Yeah. I saw that you were out. moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to open the door. The north side. Good. You open it, and you find what looks like uh, to be uh, a pantry. So the sh there are shelves which are stocked with, you can see sacks, what looks like a floor, vegetables, some preserved meat, um, and other staples, like everything, everything, all the dry goods that uh, you need to sustain a household. Anything fresh? All of it is fresh. Okay. Is it... Um easy to deduce that this is absolutely magical in nature definitely okay. yeah, like, yeah, there like, must I'm... be some spell here that allows for this to be fresh no, because no. the vegetables look like right like just brought from the from you know from whatever place you bought them like I'll, I'll grab uh, a, uh, a carrot or something like that I'm sorry, what? So like something a carrot I'll get a carrot and I'll point it at Coriander and, and cumin, and I'll say, "May I?" Yeah, sure, sir. Go ahead, sir. I'll pocket it. I'm, I'm not gonna eat it. I, this is more of a. Um, I want to know what's gonna happen when we get out. That's yeah, all. and your passive perception is super good, so you realize and you say, "Yes, yeah, sir. No problem, sir." And you pocket it, and you see the corner by the corner of your eye that you took out one carrot, and now there's another carrot there. Okay, thanks. Yeah, and I'll I'll, I'll 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 go back to the group. Okay, cool. How about you, Face Scribe? You move towards Briar, I think. Yeah, because I, I saw that people were moving into different rooms, so I wanted to be able to keep them in view. Uh, I'm just quite concerned and keeping it full alert. Uh, he doesn't know if the thing that was piling books in the library was Sage Matreus, or it's related to that book with an enchantment uh, that uh, he was able to detect, but he's... This is a life and death situation. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nadar, did you move? Uh, just a little bit. Uh, I'm no. just pacing. Cool. You move, and in that moment, all, all of you are looking at it, and you see that the artist move, and one of the chairs, a tongue sticks out oh, and touches no. you. <laughs> and we're going to enter combat, please. Roll oh! <laughs> Should I stay on the chair? Because I, I, I stood up. <laughs> Seeing no, no, that... no. You were moving. You were moving away. Like, this happened oh, yeah. just at the okay. moment when Nadar moved. Like, okay. this thing... Uh, <laughs> moved as well. Okay. Oh, then, some battle music. Oh, it, it didn't, this is what you do. You yeah. didn't get my my Try, initiative. Yeah. Don't worry. Sure you I'll have your you. token selected. Yeah. 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 What was your initiative? Uh, it was a nine. Nine. Okay. I'll add you. Don't worry. Thanks. Turn. Woo! Woo! Twenty-one. Super good. Makes sense. Yep. If you click your token first and then roll initiative with the Beyond 20 add on, you get the initiative on the on the track. Oh, okay, good to know. Thanks. Yeah, no How do I I didn't put my character sheet on, on it's okay. Twitter? Yeah, don't worry. 
Elena can um, add you to the tracker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I rolled it uh, 12. 12, okay. Good, and who is missing? I think Kirai is missing? No, no, no. no. seven. He's there. We're all, if there's only one chair, or if they all yeah. have the same initiative, we're all in. Good, okay. Nalar, you go first, but you're grappled. This, this tongue is very sticky. So you can uh, uh, try to grapple like Russell free in this case, so escape. I want to escape the grapple. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> um, in your case, I think probably you can, well, you have acrobatics and, and athletics. Yeah. So either one of those for you, the one that works better. Uh, so roll that. I will try acrobatics. Okay, cool. And I think I did it. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, so you're able to like jump, uh, do a little like a, like I imagine some kind of movement, uh, a flip or something, and then you get unstuck from the chair. Oh, and... oh god, the chair is alive. Yeah, and that was that was your turn. Would you I like to do anything here. else? Face drive is your turn. Ah, either an animated chair or a creature masquerading as one, and I'll cast Ray of Frost. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. Twenty total yeah. to hit. You hit. And the ice uh, crystals form. Ooh, for eight total damage as they begin to freeze some of the legs, which also reduce the movement speed by 10 feet. And the chair like looks a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, would you like to do anything else, Faith? Uh, move back further into the kitchen. Okay, cool. How about you, Paki? Um, Paki will um, mutter a few words and uh, like throw almost like throwing a um, coin into a well like just nonchalantly throws and will cast uh, acid splash on the chair good so that'd be a dc 13 dex with the roll i mean um, i rolled it's a 15 a chair. yeah Fuck. <laughs> Got lots of legs dances around the acid. I'm sorry, I, I rolled no, no, no. Like, it's, once it's, again, you know, it's, like on my it's, side. It's all good, it's all good. But in, it, like in my head, it was like, come on, it's a chair. It's, it's a true. chair, yeah, sure. Fuck. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it rolls well, actually, and it oh, moves yeah. around a little bit. It escapes your acid splash. Um, I like it's anything? not an animated no. chair. You know, I'll, I'll stay there and I'll, 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 I'll intently watch what's happening. Um, good. So, is the chair's turn? No, uh, wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, Briar. Oh, yeah. Ah. It was before me. Happened here. Yeah, Briar. Yeah, sure. Briar, please drive. Kirai. Okay, yeah, good. Sorry, Briar, it was your turn. No, so. What are you going to do? So, Nadar is. I'm gone. free. Free. Uh, you are free. Everyone is attacking, so I'm going to get here and start bumbling at. Okay, okay, nothing bad is happening right now, so I'm going to stay here and do nothing. <laughs> and she's going to wait. And she's going to wait. Okay. Oh, no. Good. Uh, that was that was Ryer's turn. Now yeah, the chair's turn. <laughs> okay, the chair like moves the a little best. bit around and faces towards you, Nadar. Mm -hmm. And once again, a huge tongue comes out of it. It tries to, to stick you with that. Ooh, so, you're ugly. <laughs> uh, and it rolled a 24. Ouch. To hit. Uh, and it actually rolled 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Are you kidding me? Are I'm you alive? I'm so sorry. How many? Yeah, how many do you have? 10. Then. No! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no! I'm sorry. Elena. Nothing was happening. Nothing. El Elena, really? 
The second jump so in the same <laughs> week? I'm so Don't worry. <laughs> okay, Things are I... looking much better in this situation. Yeah, and by the way, you're grappled. The, the chair is slowly going to start consuming you. Oh, no, don't give any ideas. No. Yeah, well, that, that's what it looks like. The, the, the rest yeah. of you see like the chair dropping a massive tongue um, made out of wood, question mark, on top of the poor <laughs> Nadar. And then Nadar falls to the floor and then the, the tongue is starts like licking it, trying to move it closer and closer towards it. Um, oh, that no. was the chair's turn. Kira, it's your turn now. <laughs> Hirai is going to pop into the dining hall and it's going to look at the chair and it's going to say uh, from all the furniture that I saw in my life, you are probably the dullest. I don't have time to spend to spend with you and I'm going to cast a vicious mockery. No, why are you vicious mockering it? It's a poor chair. Go ahead. Vicious mockery. You're the dullest. That's I did wisdom saving throw, okay. Uh, no, it failed. Uh, so that's three points of damage. Same and I'm damage. gonna just whoop. I'm out. And the chair starts questioning uh, uh, its life choices. That was. You're right. Are you going to move or anything else? Or are you just going to yeah, stay I'm there? Back. I'm gonna step back oh. and stay there. Okay, cool. Nadar, it's your turn. I. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't Once worry. Again, this this we, campaign is a, a, is a planned as a campaign that you can have different mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. <laughs> Very, yeah. Various I Nadars. Think you are losing yeah. nothing. Nadar, we, the you can the bar, the side. The six. Why do you think I so, use him? Yeah, you, you, like... you can use Nadar Nador. The, the, the uh, team brother. His brother. Okay, okay. okay. I'm okay. sorry. You're still failure. moving there. Yeah, I failed. No, no, no. You're, you're going no. to be um, act, act, No, 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 no. Don't go. Okay. Yeah. Next. Please Next scribe, turn. it's your turn. How. What does the integrity of the chair look like? The chair looks rather sturdy still, but it has received some damage for sure. Do any of you know first aid? I believe our procurement expert is in dire straits. Don't worry, my friend. I got this. Wonderful. That? So he, face scribe is gonna rush in to move around uh, his his uh, companions to get a clear shot, and uh, once again. The same evocation uh, glyph forms and then a symbol for for frost and produces the ray of frost as he attempts to freeze some of the chair. Yeah. 18 to hit. Ooh, hits. This time only one as it continues freezing the part that was already frozen. So only a bit more ice forms on it. Okay. This um... is clearly not wood. <laughs> How, uh, are you moving or you're staying there, Faye? Yeah, uh, I I moved into the to the room. Okay, cool. more tears attack. Briar, that's your turn now. So Briar hears um um that that Nadar is down, so she says, "Okay, Flo, it's your turn," and she takes her glasses out. Puts them in a case. Takes her, um, cause he's a moño. Uh, ponytail. Yeah. Ponytail. She has ponytail yeah. out, and she rages. <laughs> and you <laughs> see that the, her eyes grow, um, glow yellow, and teeth, uh, like fur teeth, um, cool. gets in her mouth, and she takes. What the her, fuck from her mind? coat, a great axe, and she charges into the <laughs> into the room. <laughs> okay, what? so tiny, timid, uh, little Briar turns into a monster with an axe running around, <laughs> and she runs towards the thing and hits it in, in the head, quote unquote. 
Um, so yeah, sure. Roll attack. What the? An axe yeah. seems like it would be effective against this pseudo <laughs> creature. Yeah. <laughs> he's for he's raging and you had advantage on... You have advantage in your uh, attack rolls. No, 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 that's reckless. Yeah, it's reckless. Not You're yet. right. I have two plus two plus melee damage on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Plus two. You do oh, have inspiration. I, I roll. In case you... Oh. Fifteen. I didn't roll very good. Uh, that hits. Fifteen. Yeah, sure. That, that hits. hits. Yeah, sure. Level one. Yeah. Um. Seven plus four is uh, eleven plus two, thirteen points of damage. Nice. Wow. <laughs> I love that variance. <laughs> yeah, you basically like hit it with the axe, and a huge chunk of the of the chair flies away. And as it flies away, it stops being a chair and becomes an amorph amorphous uh, mass, semi-transparent that falls on the on the. On the table here, and that was your turn. Would you like to do anything else? Can you do anything else? I moved a five, ten. I moved close to that Nadar, and, okay. and I I remember there. That's it. Okay, good. Well done, uh, now, whoever you are. Yeah, now now the chair looks, <laughs> looks, looks bad. How about you, Paki? What would you like to do? Um, Finish it. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, Paki was thinking he, he, they were uh, very worried about um, Nalar, but seeing the display of sheer brutality <laughs> from um, uh, uh, from Briar, uh, they will do the same thing once more. Okay. Flick a, a coin and then cast one more time. Oh, um, I'm gonna cast the thing one more time. Dex save. Yep, As it's a dex flash, save. Dex save. Go for the dex save. Um. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, it rolled a 15. So good. It has plus good. one. <laughs> the good. chair keeps on moving, uncannily yeah, chair... evading your yeah. charges. <laughs> um. Like, yeah, I, I, I will do that. Uh, fuck yeah. Well, I will do that, and I will. Um, one more second. Move here. Um, and stay there. Nothing more. Good. And you see, Becky looking only at Nalar, just like focusing on her on him. Cool. Uh, it's a chair turn, and the chair is like super angry at you, and a tongue comes out and tries to hit you, uh, Briar, or oh, or the other Briar, and that's uh, <laughs> it's going to roll. Let's see. Uh, Do you um, mean Jekyll? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hyde, uh, it rolled a fourteen. Fifteen in my armor class. Nice. Oh my god, that was super good because he had rolled eleven points of damage. So. <laughs> <laughs> it tries the same trick that you already saw that it did with Nadar, like dropping the huge tongue on you, but you're able to move away very, very like gracefully away from this thing, or just hit it, or just take it, like whatever you think uh, Flo would do in this case. Um, that was the chair's turn. Kirai, it's your turn. I think we forgot the disadvantage of the vicious muggery. Oh yeah, but uh, whatever. It it's already yeah. it's missed. It 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 isn't it's still a chair or is in amorphous. It it's a chair with a chunk missing. Mass I think. Yeah, what form. it remains is a chair. Yeah, the rest yeah. of a chair. Yeah. So you can see Kirai uh, stepping into the dining hall again. Like, come on, like Ashgood, not even mahogany or or Bolivian <laughs> rosewood. Like, come on, so boring. <laughs> And I'm gonna cast a vicious mockery. I love mockery. your vicious mockery. Like you get vicious mockeries for a chair. That's that's another level. Uh, okay. Oh. That's uh. That yeah. That's 
14 solid C for wisdom save. Um, and it saves like, okay, then now it's <laughs> he doesn't focused care on surviving. Anymore. Like, yeah, it's not focused on surviving. Like that's the most important part of it. And I'm going to pull my my loot. I'm gonna okay. play a six a rift. Okay. Be well, my friend. <laughs> and cast a shield ward on. On the dark, great. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Wonderful. <laughs> and then I go back to the gate. Okay, Nadar, you hear a beautiful strumming of uh, strings, and then you wake up and you feel uh, reinvigorated. And now you like, you remember a tongue from a chair hitting you. But probably that was a dream and now you are you wake up and you're now in front of the chair and the chair is trying to lick your friend or what seems like your friend but now has an axe and some teeth coming out of her mouth if what would you like to do from the floor your ask, hi i'm nadar who are you um i'm stand up <laughs> okay you stand up and the chair is still there, and the chair now it's missing like a huge chunk of it so what would you like to do you look bad. Let me help you. Punch, punch. <laughs> Let me give you a hand and you throw oh. a punch. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm the bard. Thank you. Thank you, are you. The, you are the bard. I, you. I, I'm yeah, the bard. sure. You have so, to. Attack, an armored strike. That's a 19. Get totally yeah. goals. No, it's actually, I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> it was. Jose's yeah, yes. are always, are always yeah, that color. Oh, five points know. of damage. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. I don't know why he chose in green. It's not the well, configuration. You hit it with the first punch, mm -hmm. and the chair collapses. What would you like to do? It's dead. It's dead? Oh now my it turns God. actually, I the chair disappears, the chair. and you get like a, an amorphous blob semi-transparent on the floor and you can see that starts like and it stops basically uh, moving well <clears throat> uh, the chair was alive and I was dead but not thank you <laughs> yes yes a, a remarkable display of competence all around I think <clears throat> And, and you can see that both uh, Kamin and Coriander were looking and they're like, yeah, yeah, amazing display, sir. What beautiful, beautiful battle, sir. Yeah, yeah, we, oui, we, oui. yeah, absolutely amazing, <laughs> sir. Uh, and they're like cheering for you. What would you like to do? The battle Make is sure that, yeah, Wait, if, if Nadar is like up and walking around, Scribe would like to turn to the homunculi and ask, how much of the furniture would you say is alive um i ha hadn't seen anything like that before sir yeah no we we it was like something totally new from for for me and for, for us i would say we we oh. um uh, we, we didn't know about this it's not, it's not the wheel isn't it we. another question <laughs> this purple miasma that is visible is that a new phenomenon or has that always been no that has always been been here sir okay yeah, sure okay. that's that's the, way, that's the way the mansion is yes okay Ooh. the extra dimensional space does not appear to be collapsing at the moment <laughs> i love that at the moment um, i like your hair briar you look very good so you see that briar is not that's tiny. She's really tall. Hmm. And she has muscles. And she says to you, the name is Flo, tiny. I'm going to stick around for a while. Flo? And she cracks her neck. <laughs> nice Flo. to meet you, Flo. I'm Nadar. Commander Nadar. Of the Kawawanga. Yes, Briar told me. I know. Ah, <laughs> well, well, it seems we have a new partner in our group. Yes. I like your attitude, little girl. So, uh, what? 
Could we go in? <laughs> what would you like I, to go? Puggy? Puggy looks bewildered when you call her call her little girl. Like, like does not understand a thing. Almost waiting for the axe to fall on top of you. <laughs> you can see just a green. <laughs> a sheet eating green. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So, are we sure that the next of the the the, the rest of the chairs are just chairs? And I grab my 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 water, water staff and start to point uh, poke uh, every furniture. You poke all the chair. You poke all the chairs, and all the, and none of the chairs move. Like all of them stay but the same. I. That's an entirely different matter. <laughs> so let's go, should... sailor. Yes, okay. I, I believe we should we should be looking for some kind of study or laboratory. Sounds pretty good. Where we can find yes, more. We have another, another door, key another door here. And uh, if me, I so if if I may add, sir, uh, Miss Vestania used to lose herself. On the uh, planetarium on the second floor, sir. Ah. Oh, useful. She oh. sunned herself? Oh. No, she lost herself there, sir. She spent a lot she... of time there. Wait. Okay. There, there's a stairs to the second floor, sir. Right by this door. And come in, points to the door, like, out of the kitchen. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry. I faced into another room. Bye, Where are you? Okay, go. Don't worry. We have Which more door? doors on this yeah. floor, so, yeah, the, the planetarium, planetarium is presumably so, upstairs. Okay. Yeah, and there uh, are many uh, more doors. I, I, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm literally gonna say, um, um, are are we just gonna go straight to the planetarium? Why not? Well. We heard of goings on in the library. There did not seem to be a stack of books there, but we were warned about some that may be trapped, and I was able to detect one with a strong enchantment. And we were also warned about the arboretum, the garden. Okay. It's all good. I'll follow your lead. Do you wish to encounter these warnings? Oh, pardon me, yes. Why? But... Nothing. I am. I'm not suicidal. I'm just, yeah. As you said, and I'll look at the bard and I'll say, as you said, curiosity is a good thing. Patience is also a good thing. Let's go. Yeah. Planetarium adventure. <laughs> now, how how are you feeling, um, Commander, um, Captain, Sailor, Dude? Uh, Lieutenant, Nadar. <laughs> you you lost a rank there. Uh, are you sure? You didn't hit your cap? <laughs> I can say that I'm. I feel half fine and half not that fine, but it's okay. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So, are we going, friends? Follow my lead. Thank you. What are you out. going? You go upstairs? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Okay. Let's go. I'll kick your eye. Uh, let me move you. Huh? Um, By the way, Alejandro, if you think that uh, you guys. Is everybody going upstairs? upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you think that you you want to spend an, another spell, you can do it, but uh, I, I won't force you. <laughs> don't, don't do it, because I, I, I don't... I'm not gonna use it. Okay. I have only one more spell that is for waking someone. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, may yeah, for emergencies, <laughs> like the one we just had. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, Kirai, you go upstairs, and when you get there, what you see is um, the landing at the top of the stairs is occupied by a suit of armor, 
that is holding a long sword that's pointing down and it sits upon a wooden stand in front of a large window um and above the armor uh, there's a trap door that opens to an attic that and that would be yeah something like here um i don't ah there yeah and you have another door here as well hmm the, the armor is there yeah so Hold on. The arbor is a. Uh, he's having a, a sword in, in, in this position, right? With the... yeah, looking down. Yeah, the, the blaze down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. gonna tap the helmet like on the on the tick. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Does it look like um, expensive? Like I could say this. Um. Actually, uh, give me a, a, an intelligence check, and let me see. Do you have anything like that will help you? Intelligence. Um, yeah. Let's wait. Let me. Uh, I'll be back. Let's. Can we pause here? Yeah. 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 We'll do yeah. a. We'll do an, an express break, and we'll be it's back great, in yeah. just uh, some seconds. This express yeah. break is brought to you Thank by you, sorry. no one. Yes. Not so good. It's okay. Okay, we're back. Thank you. Uh, so you're looking, and in this case, I asked you for a role. Um, in your case, intelligence. Yeah, that's a very good role, Kirai. You notice that just the helmet and the sword really look like items of good quality, but they look like they could be sell, could be sold for something. Definitely. Mm -hmm. The rest of the armor is decorative. I'm gonna take the helmet. Okay. Take this off. Good. One note. Um, remember what happened to the sage? Ah, yeah. Something. He just. Yes. Yeah. He farted. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Maybe too hard. That that explains the blood. I mean, he was here for two days straight, so maybe but he, he said, was... yeah, he said half an hour. Oh, maybe he was just really eager to go to the bathroom. Who knows? <laughs> How do I look? And I'm gonna put the helmet. Oh. <laughs> I'll, Nothing does, happens. Okay. I'll defer to your expertise. In this matter. Yeah, yeah, this is very important and very magical in a way that maybe magic can't detect. Only a train eye like mine. So yeah. We should totally take it. Yeah, I'm for the keep. Sure, sure, sure. I, I, I totally with you. You want me to keep it by, uh, for you? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. In that I'm moment, pretty sure. mm -hmm. I think that uh, flow disappears, like <laughs> because your rage is it, out. Yeah, yeah. The rage is over. I dropped the sword. <laughs> 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 so, what would you like to do? She, yeah, she takes her, her her glasses out. She puts them back, and she says not a word. Like. Silent. Nothing happened. Okay. I'll 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 look at Briar and said, "You back?" Uh, yeah. Flo was here for a bit. Oh yeah. Uh, good. Did she hurt anyone? None of us. A chair. Oh, good. A chair. Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She hurts uh, Nadar's feelings, actually. <laughs> she called me tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and made a display of brutal violence that Nadar can't even help to imagine. So, yeah. No, I can't. I feel so Maybe. bad. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm sorry. I was afraid she might have hurt one of you, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad nothing else happened. Oh, don't worry. Didn't... My feelings can't be here. Should we be worried, Magic Man? I'm going to say... In general? Yes. <laughs> About that? Maybe once mm. we're out? I asked the wrong person, maybe. Okay, so let's go! My friends, Where are you there going? is an attic and there is some doors. I'm gonna <laughs> open those doors with my new sword. Which eh? which door are you going Rhymes. to open? Both? <laughs> yeah, sure. Are you going to open not? both? I, yeah. I'll, I'll open the one beside uh, in, in the left, at the left. I'm going I'll to open, open the one to the right. Okay. I will be um, very far off the doors. Okay, so it's in your okay. case, Paki, what do you, what do you, what do you see are two long wooden tables filled with stuff. They are are covered with glass vessels and books, and and there are cabinets uh, with glass doors lined in the wall lined the walls. Um, they contain all sort of things. Uh, and that's what you see from a first look. In your case, Kirai, what you see is that there is actually um figure it out. Yeah. There the door opens and you have a little hallway, and there's a door to the east of that, and there's a door to the south. I found more doors. Yep. What did what did you found? A I... door and a study. Yes. Study first, or should we to take a peek to the attic? I mean, if you're gonna have a planetarium, might have it to the closest thing to the sky. I think. Well, five smart uh, entered the the room, so yeah. Face scribe is looking at the at the open books and what's there to figure out: are these notes on alchemy or? On, I mean, pre presumably, Face Scribe spent quite a bit of t of time reading the uh, the original grimoire that started all this, and yeah. couldn't find any information on how to get out. So he's look looking for presumably the other half of it, like the yeah. you give the me exit a, sign. An investigation check. Twenty-one total. Okay, um, you take a look at the you take a look at the books on the table, and you start looking at them, looking at the at the spines, the titles, and you find things like uh, Duke Carroll's Book of Enigma, the Umbral Portfolio of Peoples, the Plates of Clans, uh, uh, Stage Jesus Book of Stories, the Wonderful Texts of Dark Poems. There's a lot of stuff here, like. It seems on very different subjects. You find stuff which looks like um, it deals with science, astronomy, and astrology, and physiology, and natural philosophy. There are com complex charts and mathematical formulas drawn on a mobile blackboard, which is, uh, I think the blackboard is uh, here. And you also uh, see that the, the, the wall to the... Uh, this wall, the one that's all the wall that you have here, in the to the to the west, is decorated mm -hmm. w with um with a star map. Ah, and you notice one of the books has only one letter, a gilded letter on its spine, which has the letter T. And I'll and T? I'll yeah yep. and I'll re yeah and I'll remind the yeah face I remember cry. the warning yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be, uh, shoulder, shoulder, face cry. And I'll, I want to peek at the book of poems, black poems. Yeah. Um, you look at it and it, um, take a look at through the income and, uh, there's some, uh, have you read, have you, Diego, have you read any Baudelaire or, yep. uh, yeah. It does kind of poetry like the beauty and the decaying corpse and stuff like that, like the the 
the romantics uh, is that kind of I'll, poetry I'll um, pocket that yeah but you see that has a lot of inspiration like from natural things like the way a flower dies and withers away and and the descriptions are very good and there are notes on it like yeah this description is like this plant or something it's like someone from the science part of life started reading poetry and started discovering like they were talking about the same things we were but from a different perspective so mm -hmm. that's that what you find I I will pocket that that big peaked the interest of Paki in a way that yeah. almost anything nothing else in this place. Peaked. Good. How about the rest I of you? I have a theory. A magic theory? A puzzle theory. If the books are single letters, Shit, we the, form the yeah. correct word to exit. Now the question is, is it the same word? There's a T in scepter. Um, we should try. What do, we uh, should what, find the other letters before yeah. we try anything. Maybe there's what? no E's. So what's no. the the what was the letter on the last? We didn't uh, see. On, we didn't. On, we didn't. Um, we didn't approach the other library. There was oh the bookshelf. It. We we didn't. The one you saw that didn't have a letter? I didn't get close enough to see what the letter was. Okay. Mm. Okay. I think we need, we need to go back and see. Hey, there's a door here, by the way, uh, yeah. amongst the, 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 the star map. And what do the rest of you do? Nadar, Briar, Kirai, what would you like to do? You go first? No, you go first. <laughs> okay, I'm going first. I'm I'm gonna pop into the study, like seeing a lot of boring shit, and then I'm going to go back to my hallway and open the doors because why not? What could happen? Oh, oh, no. Yeah, what's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, yeah. So okay, so you open this door and you open oh. this door. And you find the first one, the door to your right, seems like mm, like a trophy room. I could be described as a trophy room. It has, um, from a first glance, you see that um, there, each of the corners in this room had a, have a scarlet armchair and a reading table piled high with books. A, a cheery fire burns in the fireplace. And there are a pair of swords that sit on a rack above the fireplace and there are heads of various animals mounted on the walls. Okay. And rather ominous, but okay. Ooh. And if you go to the next room, you find uh, what is a look like most like a bedroom. It's an open and airy bedroom. There's a canopy bed with a rich scarlet curtain so occupies one corner. There's a jug and a wash basin stand on top of a chest uh, of drawers and a fluffy black cat, which is napping on a scarlet easy chair. They got, the cat is uh, there, by the way. Okay. Yeah. They are, uh, As you enter, the cat jumps from the chair, stretches, and then starts mewing at you. I'm going to pet the second cat. Good. The cat you die. It. No, I, I, I won twice this game. Already. <laughs> I pet one cat and two cats. What yeah. what color is this cat? Black uh, as well. Ah, but it's fluffy. Yeah, this one is fluffy. Yeah, the other one was more like straight hair. This one's fluffy. Okay. Um, what is Nadar? Nadar um, Would you like to do anything? Uh, yeah, I'm, or Briar? I'm walking next to... Smart. Okay. Yeah. Face Scribe is looking for more books with single letters, but is staying well back of, of where Kirai has already explored. Okay. So he's looking through the doors carefully and goes, Kirai, any more hey. single letter books? When you pass no? the, when you pass here, you see that they are at least from your point. From a viewpoint, two uh, little tables with books 
Mm. Pile one on top of the other. Oh dear. This looks interesting. What would you like to do, Ben? Okay. Just give me a, give me a couple of moments. Yeah, sure. And oh, he again starts so creating sigils. Feel free oh, to interrupt him at any time. He's, he's Another doing, 10 minutes. That's, that's what he's doing. But now you guys know how long it's going to take. So if you want to interrupt him. No, Briar uh, interrupts you. She said like, oh, come on. Another 10 minutes? Really? A chair <laughs> nearly killed one of our purveyors. What if one of the skulls is alive? No, oh, no. These have Pretty teeth. Good. Your torch is running out. Oh no! Um, da, da, da. I I think that I'm be blind. Is that uh, your only torch? My torch. It's yeah. It's here, torch. So, uh, oh. oh. Are there any candles or um, lamp lamps or lanterns inside? Hold on. And this this room, you don't need anything because the fireplace is lit, so you have you can see very well. But the other rooms now, they don't seem to have. So far, you haven't encountered any candles or um, oil lamps. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I just uh, looking at uh, in my equipment. Look at what I found. I have a torch. I always had a torch. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so so Great. sorry. I imagine that you have like 10 of them. Yeah, yeah you should yeah. have 10. They have 10. <laughs> ah. So, so Briar is going to say, okay, Flo, okay, I'm going to do it. Shut up. And she steps in and, and goes to take a peek to the books. Okay. Uh, to look, to say, the, to see if there's one with one letter. Okay. Uh, you, when you enter the room, there are four uh tables that have books did you look at all of them yes sure. i approach first this one and i look okay. but i don't touch them i just look like this oh very good yeah to you see look if at they them have... mm -hmm. you start looking um uh, you don't see anything here okay we'll go to this one yep a little... Not looking like anything. You have just a lot of titles, and no, and most of them they don't, they don't have anything. Like they don't have any titles on the spine. Uh, oh, so yeah. this one. When you look at this one, you see that there are like there's one that's open and one that is on top of it. That you can see the rest of them, but it's one that you cannot see. That is being like one is on top of the other. So I go to this one before. <laughs> you look at that one, you start looking and no names, no no gilded letters on the spine. So I go I back mean... to this one and I and I take um, Flo's great axe and I and I shove it with the great axe. So <laughs> you, yeah, you took you took like the part. Imagine like the the part of the handle. It's going yeah. to fall, you know. You hit it, mm -hmm. and when you hit it, like it collapses because there's a pile of books. They fall to the ground, and you see that the the one that you were looking for falls like in the center, and you see a letter, a yellow letter, and then you realize that there are two. Um, there are actually two swords that are on on top of the of the blanket here, and they. Um, the swords fly off the handles, ching, ching, they cross each other, and we're going to start another combat. But that will be in the next session oh. because it's super late. So we're going to leave <laughs> yeah. it here for tonight. Woo. Thanks a lot for coming. We had a lot of fun, and we'll see you in the second part of this in yeah. a couple of yeah. weeks, days. I don't know. We'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Wonderful. See ya. Okay. Bye. See you guys Bye. Every, Bye. next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and everything. Yeah. No, forget all, all of that. No. Yeah, Come share, next. please share videos with someone who would like them. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us in the comments if you like the adventure or anything else. Yeah, Thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye. Play. Okay. Bye. Bye.